coming from the retina. We call this internal astigmatism, all right? Astigmatism. Most of them is coming from the cornea, posterior surface, and crystal lens, especially in the older people, or if some people getting the, the, the trauma, like the punch on the eyes. So this equation is coming from the experience, coming from experience. So Java's rule, actually is, is depending on 100 years, the practice of the, a lot of the optometrists, then they summarize, how do we correction this if we only know the cornea astigmatism? There was a little bit different from cornea astigmatism to the total astigmatism when you're giving the prescription to your patients. So the Java's rule is making the adjustment. So AT, that means astigmatism T, the, is the total. Total astigmatism is the 1.25 time if you're getting the astigmatism from cornea, but this cornea need with the rule, you need a minus 0 0.5. This is the, because we talk about astigmatism, this one is against the rule. So you need thinking about when we change to the cornea astigmatism to the total astigmatism, you need to think about or pay attention to the with the rule and against the rule. So how do we practice? So let's see these patients, all right? This patient, they gave it the prescription is minus 7.5 sephiro lens. So forgot about this. We are focused on this one because we need adjusted this patient's the total astigmatism. So then we give the cornea topography, we call that K reading, K reading. They give us two different power, horizontal, H is horizontal, V is vertical. Here we need to know with the rule because here is the equation is with the rule. So this patient with the rule, what's the difference? My, this one minus this one is 0 0.1, right? The power is vertical. Therefore, the axis is 180, which is with the rule. So then we using the, this equation, 1.25 times 1.0, this is with the rule, minus 0 0.50, which is axis is 90 degree, all right? So 0 0.75 degree. After minus, this is with the rule, still with the rule. So let's see the case two. This patients have a lot, 100, uh, 10 diopter, but it's 1.75, which is times 10 degree. The K reading, the difference you can see, 43.25 minus this, 1.75, which is where's the rule, right? So 1.25 times 1.75 minus 0 0.5, is 1.69 diopter with the rule. This is total astigmatism. You need to making the calculations, all right? So let's see these several cases. I give you two minutes. Please calculate the, this astigmatism, total astigmatism power, two minutes. Then make some mistake. Then you will understand why we need the calculations like this, two minutes. Now is 1.41, 1.43. Let's see if you're making the right calculations. Uh, this class is very important to bear with me, all right? Bear with me. We have more practice on the next Tuesday afternoon, tutor class. We have one minute left. Please do this for calculations. Okay, so let's do first one. First, where is the withdrawal? 2.0, actually it's no related to the prescription. <laughs> So we just need a calculation of what's the total astigmatism. So this is easy. 1.25 times 2 minus this, this is 2.0. The first one, always easy, right? This, remember, when you're writing this astigmatism, you need to write in the where's the rule. Second, so in this case, if the cornea cylinder is 2.0, like this patient, so total astigmatism actually is equal to cornea cylinder. So if this is 2 with the rule, Actually, the total astigmatism actually easy to the cornea, the cylinder, all right? For some reason, they are uh, get rid of all the internal astigmatism. If with the rule, they have 2.0. Then let's see this patient. 
this patient's difference is 0 0.5 for with the rule. If with the rule, right, they have 0 0.4 after the calculation, this is zero. This is zero, right? Actually, with the rule, if you have a little bit, 40 degree, uh, 0 0.4 diopter, this with the rule astigmatism, actually they can get rid of the total astigmatism. Let's see this patient. If the patients have nothing, no difference, all right? So what's that? According to these equations, you need to know this is 0 0.5 diopter. However, this is against the rule because this axis is in the 90 degree. So you needed to write 0 0.5 diopter against the rule. So how about this? Minus, minus, minus is minus 2.5, which is against the rule because the horizontal is more power than that then because this is against the rule. This is minus 2.5. This is also 0 0.5 in 90 degrees. So you add them up, right? And not minus, add them up because it's a minus. So they can against the rule, all right? So I think some student, uh, if we're making this wrong, possibly is this is easy to wrong because you need to think about this is against the rule. So this is a little tricky here, okay? I think it's pretty simple. So far, any questions? Any questions, student? So far? Any questions? No? Okay, I'm moving on. So if you have a question, you can feel free to ask me after class or ask me in the tutorial next week. Okay, let's move on. Okay. So this one is about the uh, the, this is retina. Retina, they have the different axis. For example, one, like if, for example, like this patient, like a horizontal power, they have 1.0, vertical, they have 2.0. How do we derive it? Of, it's very simple. In the horizontal, we give them minus. In the vertical, they give them the similar minus, two, minus 2.5. Then they will get 0, 0, then totally no refraction. That's the simple. That, that is the way. How do we correct that? All right? So using, a, for example, but in the real patients, because these patients have plus one and plus 2.5, right? You can change to minus one, minus two. You, first, you, we don't give the, uh, because astigmatism lens, they can shift image a lot. So if the power is, the, the, the principle is, if we can using the sapphire lens to correction the, as much the, uh, the problem as, as possible, then we give them the different cylinder lens. So first we using a minus one sapphire lens to correction. This all the marine like a flattened marine So leaving what? If you plus minus one and minus one, then you're leaving plus 1.5 at 90 degrees. This is the first, second step we're going to do. This is real. In the series is we just go giving the minus one in one marine and minus two in the main marine right? So we can get in this. However, in the real practice, first we're using the sapphire to corrections, everything we can. So we're getting the one meridian is zero, another one is 0.1.5 if we're giving the minus one. Then we're leaving this. So after that, we deal with that. In this, we're giving the minus 1.0. So we can get in the total cylinder and we can get into this patient's fully and the best vision accurate. So they we call that, this is fully correction for this eye. So that's the reason we need to change to the different, uh, the the, the sapphire power and the different axis. And uh, normally we're using this to try to get rid, to separate the sapphire and the different axis power. So in the last, like this patient, we're giving the refresh error, the glasses prescription, we're giving the minus one, then 1.5 times 180, where the power is, where the power is in the vertical in here, right? Okay. so. Now, let's make a little bit of summary. We, the last part, we're talking about our student. How do we writing the prescription, all right? How do we using the different, the way to show the, uh, the focal line? We need to make the change. After that, we're using the talking about how to calculate the astigmatism in total and the cornea astigmatism. Then how do we, the purpose is when we draw the focal line, then we can understand how do we giving the prescription. So how we understand. Also, our patients also in the last class, we have accommodations. See that when the patients 
we're getting old. We lost the way to adjust it. This is the power, right? We normally we adjust it. Lost it. So in the 20 and 30, we have falling diopter. We can adjust it the, the reading distance. However, when people to the 48, normally they have lost all. Only one or two diopter left. So the reason is the muzzle they cannot relax. Even they relax, but their lens, all right, is lost their resilience. They cannot so cannot recover their shake. That means the when they reading the near the distance, the image cannot properly focus on the retina, but focus behind of the retina. So this is how they read when the people getting old. When we reading the prescription is very clear, right? But all the people is like this. They have everything moving that far away. This close far away. Close, they have to moving far away, letting them, the image refocus on the retina because during this situation is focused behind of the retina. So how do we giving the presbyopia patient the prescription? At first, we need to give them, no matter what, you need to give them the distance prescription, right? For example, the right eye is minus two, minus two. This is like this. Right. So in order to giving the prescription, you need a reading glasses. It's very simple. You just plus both eyes 1.5 diopter. Then you 